Are you pagan? Do you like worship the devil? Do you like worship the devil? Do you like worship the devil? It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? What's up guys? Chris here. In this video, I'd like to cover one of the most asked questions we get. What is paganism? And one of the most common misconceptions that paganism is evil or even... And if you yourself are pagan and you get asked this question a lot, then just send people that ask this question this video. I'm doing all the hard work for you, so just make sure you use it to your advantage. I also have very interesting updates coming up, so make sure you watch until the end. So, pagan started being used as a term around the 4th century as a way for Christians to describe someone who practiced polytheism. Paganism includes many religions of this day, including Norse paganism or heathenry, which uh, is a belief in Odin, Thor, and it was very common among the Vikings. We have Hellenism, a uh, belief in the Olympian gods of classical Greece. Druidism, a uh, belief to be in harmony with nature, as well as the most widely misinterpreted religion, as well as the widest pagan religion in the world today, which is Wicca. None of these beliefs are associated in any way with Lucifer or the devil, or even evil per se. There may be the occasional bad egg, but this does not describe paganism in any way, shape, or form. Firstly, a lot of people think that paganism may be related to the devil, and us pagans don't believe in God and Lucifer, heaven and hell as Christians imagine it. Eventually, the church, in its journey to convert everyone into Christians, ended up using the term pagan or heathen as a derogatory and judgmental remark towards pretty much anyone who wasn't baptized. And throughout this long process of many centuries for judging people for their beliefs, Hollywood came along to ultimately demonize paganism, even using many symbols incorrectly to associate them with Satanism. We'll start with the most common and obvious one, which is the pentagram, a traditional symbol of Wicca, which is widely misinterpreted and confused with the pentacle, which is a sign of Satanism. Another symbol I can use as an example is the Ankh, the ancient Egyptian version of the cross, which symbolizes life, death, and reincarnation. And also the loop on top of it symbolizes the sun rising over the horizon. And finally, my own Mjolnir. Mjolnir? What's Mjolnir? Which is very commonly misunderstood as an upside down cross and also a sign of Satanism. But instead, it's actually a Norse pagan symbol from around 1000 AD, which is the first one found in Iceland. And it symbolizes not only their beliefs as Norse pagans, but it was also during the time they started coming together with the Catholic Church. And to stay true to their beliefs still, they didn't fully adapt into Christianism. And so this cross symbolizes Christianism, but also the wolf head or snake or dragon, whichever one they chose to use in their pendants respectively. It is a symbol of the two beliefs coming together. It symbolizes the continued belief in their gods, their religion, and also signifies power and protection. Even a cow's or a ram's skull is widely misinterpreted as a demonic sign when in fact many people have used it as a symbol of protection and strength to guard their homes and such and then again hollywood comes along and makes it a sign of evil most of my friends ask me the question if i'm satanic or am part of a cult just because i say i'm pagan and that's actually part of the reason i'm even making this video is to clear it up for all of them instead of going one by one explaining everything we are not a cult. We are, all in all, people who still uphold some certain values, like caring for nature, regarding the family and the community, 
and having certain different beliefs from other religions. We do not sacrifice babies or any such thing. And now for a drastic change of topics, updates. We finally have our website up and running along with some really cool merch. You can check it out in the, in the link in the description below or right here. So be sure to have a look. In the next video, we will be covering another widely asked question, why I'm pagan and which beliefs I personally adhere to. So subscribe and stay tuned.